All right, just a quick video on RDN2 from Multiman. Uh, welcome back to the big board. So it's uh, the 20th, I turned five, and the Germans are faced with a tough situation where they need to continue pressing in on the various avenues that they have taken. Uh, they're technically, I think, behind on the historical uh, timeline. Uh, Stavolot is uh, sort of off screen here. We're nowhere near there. So net net, I uh, put in uh, a significant number of attacks, and also uh, had to try and stave off the uh, this cutting off effort by Third Armored, which may have been a little preemptive by the uh, Americans, but nevertheless, it served the purpose of uh, of pulling forces away from the, the primary drive and slowed down the exercise and bounced the artillery out of the equation. Uh, for this round of combats, and that has been the telling difference. Uh, attack here went through and went in. Uh, it was a reduced unit, so that was the only really successful the at attack. Here we had an attack uh, that was stacking up to look like it was going to be a solid 5 to 1 uh, net of shifts. But with uh, uh, American counter, counter barrage or defensive fire, halved all of these guys, changes the odds significantly. They did the same thing here. Uh, so this went in at a one to two attack. This went in at a two to one attack. Uh, I mentioned we had a three to one here. This ended up being a one to two attack as well. I t so I, I lost one, two, three, four steps. Uh, yeah, we killed the cavalry unit here. Congratulations. Uh, lost a step here. Uh, both once again, both sides barraged here and uh, changed the odds significantly. So uh, that's kind of that's kind of uh, almost telling the tale, even though it's a nine-turn scenario. Uh, I I think we're now in a mode where the Americans understand how to very carefully and effectively use their artillery to counter any massed formations because you're going to pick up these DRMs on the barrage uh, results that will almost guarantee you, unless you roll a one or a two, uh, a, a result that's going to halve the combat effectiveness of the attacker. So uh, it's smart for the Americans to sort of sit back and wait and watch and see what happens or where the attacks are going to evolve and then punch the uh, the attackers if they can in one or more spots and then halve the attack and that's uh, that's going to be all she wrote you can't win this game fighting at one to two. Oh, you know what uh, there wasn't a, a loss here that was actually a no result that's what that was because uh, we're on the one to two table and I roll a seven uh, so anyway so I think that's that uh, from that perspective and then the uh, the Germans the Germans have got to push early and uh, be prepared to go ugly early as well I think and take a take more losses and be more stretched out I was a little more conservative here I, I didn't push all the way through here like I probably could have nor did I press my uh, as deep here as I should have and I think uh with that sort of gameplay, that's not going to be successful for the uh, for the Germans. They've got to get to Melmady down here. They've got to get to these uh, these uh, junctions uh, off screen. Where is it? Uh, right here, uh, and and slow down the enemy and the uh, Allied uh, you know, reinforcements and, and prevent any sort of line being built on the, on this. Vacha River here. That's uh, that's a bit of a problem. And then I didn't guard the flank as the Germans, and so this has allowed Third Armor to come rushing in here, cause all sorts of problems. Even though they're they're now going to be isolated, uh, neither here nor there. They're doing their job. They'll all end up uh, at, in the American turn being DG'd, which may put them, uh, particularly these two guys, put them in serious threat next turn. But I've air I've sent air supply in, so they're going to be okay, I believe. So that's kind of the that's kind of the that's kind of the game here. I don't see. Uh, I'll finish off the American turn and see where things sort of wrap up, particularly with these uh, third armored. But I don't see how the Germans really do much better than this. They've kind of they're kind of punching below their weight at the moment uh, in terms of the the combat effectiveness. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm starting to have to split up formations a little bit, and that's causing issues as well. Uh, Got to be careful with your divisional integrity here and keep uh, all the same divisions stacked together. Otherwise, you'll uh, auto-DG your guys. Uh, also, having the artillery punched all the way back here 
uh, they got bounced means that they're going to lose the turn, have to come back down uh, to get in the fight. And now they can't really get in the fight because the, these armored units are in the way. And that's what's causing these odds disparities here where I, I can't get a double barrage result, for instance, on a given stack of enemy units. Like it would have been cool if I can do it there. It would have been cool to get a double barrage on this guy, make that defense there quartered, which would be uh, half of uh, five is two and a half. And then halved again would be uh, would be 1.25. That's going to round off the one. I believe that's how I, how you would do that. So that would make that a defense of three against all these guys. Very different, very different combat result and uh, column on the on the table there. So pretty interesting. Now that we got the little wording snafus out of the way, got some of the errata squared away with uh, setup locations for this particular scenario. Uh, you know, all in all, it's it's playing out like a typical bulge game, which I guess is a good thing because sometimes SCS can just go completely off the rails. Be curious to see how the larger game plays here. Uh, certainly putting you in that desperate uh, uh, mode for both sides very, very quickly uh, with the Americans getting bounced around in the first couple of turns. And then, the, uh, then as the reinforcements arrive, as uh, 30th Infantry come in and uh, second... Uh, First Infantry arrive, <clears throat> and then the 82nd Airborne uh, certainly stabilizes things. And then it's a matter of all how, how and where can I do some counterattacking and what can the Germans do to, to uh, sort of prevent that and uh, keep punching so that they can pick up the VPs they need to, uh, to get a win. I didn't even look at the VP conditions. I think they're pretty onerous for the... Germans to uh, get a win in this particular scenario, 7.3, here it is. Yeah, they need uh, 10 or more for a major victory and 5 or less for an allied win. Uh, I believe we have 5 or less, I will be confident in saying that. So uh, congratulations to the Allies uh, for a win in turn, basically what amounts to the end of turn 5. Uh, uh, because I could certainly see as the as the Americans that I would potentially counterattack here uh, this turn. We could also potentially do something in this area here. I've got a lot of combat power here. Uh, the only problem is if you don't, if things don't go well, you know, these threes drop down to ones and the, on their combat effectiveness and the five defense goes down to three. And all of a sudden that's a different ball game. So you've got to be real careful and preserve the combat effectiveness of these units. Otherwise you're in all sorts of strife. All right, that's all I got for you. Arden 2. I'll give it a uh, I'll give it a solid good. Uh, no score really. I don't do scores. Uh, I, I enjoyed the play once we got through all the little niggly bits, which uh, I think, as I said in my last video, main issue was Essig is usually extremely tight and precise with wording, and there were three or four little rules here that were not precise, and uh, I, I would I even I would have worded them differently, and I think I've seen a number of other people comment that they would have. Uh, uh, perhaps preferred more uh, more accurate or, or clear uh, word structure. So, you know, that's all good. Anybody else, I would have said, eh, hey, okay, you know. But with ESSIG, I, I, I just expect that pre 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 bleh, that precision, <laughs> unlike with that little stumbling comment there. Uh, so, certainly not a bad game. I know a lot of people are, have been, well, a lot of people, some people have been going, oh, I'm glad I saved my money. Well, you know, don't be whiny about it. Look, shit happens it's okay this is fun just if you're interested buy it or not well, buy it on sale but try it i think it's interesting enough to warrant uh, a look and uh, a play and you'll uh, probably not regret it all the best